So this is the summary of God's Not Dead One. Um, Josh Wheaton, a college student in evangelical Christian, enrolls in a philosophy class taught by a professor Jeffrey Radisson. Radisson demands his students sign a declaration that God is dead to pass. And Josh is the only student who refuses Radisson requires to debate the topic with him but agrees to let the other students um, decide the winner. In the first two debates, Radisson has counter arguments for all of Josh's points. Josh's girlfriend, Kara, demands Josh either sign the statement or drop Radisson's class because standing up to Radisson will jeopardize their academic future. When Josh refuses, Kara breaks up with him. In the final debate, Josh halts his line of debate to ask Radisson, Why do you hate God? Radisson explodes in rage, confirming he hates God for his mother's death. Josh asks Radisson, how can he hate someone does that not exist? Martin, a Chinese student whose father forbids him from talking about God to avoid jeopardize his brother's chance to oversee his duty and stand up and says, God's not dead. Most of the class follows Martin's lead and Radisson leaves the room in defeat. Radisson dates Mina, an evangelical whom he belittles in front of his fellow at atheist colleagues. Her brother Mark, a successful businessman and atheist, refused to visit their mother who suffers from dementia. Mark's girlfriend Amy is a left-wing blogger who writes articles critical of Duck Dynasty. When Amy is diagnosed with cancer, Mark dumps her. A Muslim student, Aisha, secretly converts to Christianity and is disowned by her infuriated father when he finds out. Um, Josh invites Martin to attend a new boys concert. Radisson reads a letter from his mad late mother and is moved to reconcile with Mina. Ami confronts the new boys in their dressing room but ask them to help guide her converting to Christianity. On his way to find Mina, Radisson is struck by a car and fatally injured. Mm. A reverend waiting at the intersection tends to Radisson and helps him as she dies. Mark at last visits his mother but taunt her. She responds that his financial success was given to him by Satan to keep him from turning God to God. Then, she doesn't remember his name. At the concert, the new boy shows a video clip of Willie Robertson congratulating Josh on standing up, up to Radisson and encourages the audience to text God's Not Dead. As a message to others, the new boys begin their play song, God's Not Dead, dedicating it to Josh. The lesson I learned from God's Not Dead one is we need to make sure that we will always stand up to our belief, to our faith, to our God. We must be defend our faith all at, at all times and we need a courage to overcome all the challenges in life we need to stand we need to stand up on what is right and wrong we need to believe in god on what he plan on us and what at wag po nating talikuran ang dios dahil lang sa grado kailangan po nating ipaglaban ang ating mga pinaniniwalaan sa buhay at huwag po tayong sumuko kapag may mga temptasyon na dumating sa ating buhay after watching the movie um, I feel sad for 
Professor Radisson because he did that because he hates the god. That's why for me I can't accept it because God is not dead and I will not allow anyone who said that and thanks to thanks to Josh Wilson because he stand up and he believe what he believes and I will I am proud of him because of that and he encouraged everyone that God is not dead and he proved it to everyone just like that. thank you